name's Toi and I go to Western Springs College and I'm very interested in the make of cars, what they look like and the engines in them. So we're giving Tui the opportunity of spending a couple of days working at Precision Auto Work. This environmentally award winning company specialises in repairing accident damaged bodies of upmarket cars. This highly skilled trade is called automotive refinishing and Paul Gibson runs a team dedicated to refinishing those prestigious cars, including Porsche, Maserati and Ferrari. Oh, you must be Tui. Hi Tui, I'm Paul Gibson, General Manager of Precision Auto Work. What brings you into this industry? Um, I was interested in cars from a young age, through my brothers. Okay. Well, we've got all the high-end brands, we've got a lot to show you. Come on through. Let's go. Tui gets the rundown on the health and safety requirements before being led on the floor. Tui, this is Sam. Sam's one of our Mito apprentices. He's been with us for about a year and a half now. Mito is the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation, which is supporting Sam through his apprenticeship. Sam shows Tui what's involved in preparing a bonnet for spraying. Start sanding like that, and you're wanting to get it so that it makes it that, that cloudy kind of colour. So you can keep it flat, but just make sure you go in circulars so you can just go. The bonnet is hand sanded and then cleaned with high pressure air and a dust and wax remover. And Tui is set to work. Well, this is all finished now to go over to the next side. How did you like that? Pretty scared, but I got used to it. It's pretty fun. Well, I'm looking for someone who's reasonably technically minded, someone who's got passion in the automotive industry. They'll have tasks set and they have to achieve them in quality in mind. This is our car here, this front one. The next job that we have to do on it is to scotchy both guards and scotchy these front panels here. Okay. What is scotchy? Well, scotchy is pretty much like Goldilocks that you use at home to do your pans with, but it's a lot finer than that. Scotchy is used so that the paint sticks onto the panel and doesn't peel off later on. The panels closest to the damaged ones are also repainted and make the finish consistent and merge into the rest of the car. More cleaning is done and then the car is masked up for painting. You have to think like the painter pretty much. Yeah. You have to think where, where am I going to spray and where don't I want to spray. Yeah. The goal of refinishing a vehicle is getting the colour exact, the finish, right down to the factory peel. So when it's leaving here you can actually, you can't tell that it's been in any form of accident. The car is prepped for painting so that senior technician Jamie Davis can show Tui the ropes. Hi Tui, my name's Jamie. Um, I'm here to help you with the colour matching of the vehicle. The first option we normally take is using the identification tag. There's another option we can use the colour chips. There's another option is we can use the colour spectrometer. This takes three different readings on the vehicle and it chooses the best colour match out of those three readings. There's quite a bit of skill involved in colour matching the colour. Yeah. Colour matching is a huge, huge part of it in this industry. With the colour mix, the car is put into the spray booth for the final preparations. When we take on a potential apprentice, we first of all send them to our paint manufacturer. They actually put them through a paint technology course. We then take someone on. We get contact Mito, get Mito in and sign them up on a, on a Mito apprenticeship. The New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation is responsible for the ongoing support and training of apprentices in New Zealand's motor industry. And um, what are the key things that we don't do? Um, the key things that we don't do is we don't put it on too wet because that will cause runs to happen. Um, and we don't put it on too dry either because then it will just, it won't look very good, it'll just look like sandpaper. The spray painting's done and the car is left to bake. While the paint dries, Tui catches up with apprentice Sam. Um, I've been an apprentice for about a year and a half now. Not many 18, 19 year olds get to work on these type of cars, you know. Okay, Tui, the car is now finished baking. It's been in the booth for 40 minutes at 60 degrees. We need to get the car out of the booth so we can now get it assembled. Assembling the car is a job for the collision repair technician and it means we're on the home straight. Finishing is a rewarding job. I'm seeing a vehicle come into the workshop in a damaged state, be able to follow it through the process, customer receiving their vehicle without being able to see where the damage has been. It's very rewarding. 
Cutting and polishing the car is the final stage in the process. It removes any imperfections in the paint and takes the car back to mint factory condition. I think Tui's got a good eye for detail. She has um, a good work attitude and I think she'd make a great apprentice. I think Tui would make a fantastic apprentice. She fits in well with the staff. She's obviously passionate about vehicles and what she's achieved over the last few days is, uh, is, is blowing me away. Okay, Tui, you've seen this vehicle from all the stages. Do you see yourself getting into the refinish industry? Yep, definitely. I'm interested in cars. I get to see a lot of flash brands. And, yeah, it's definitely a career path. Well, I think you did really well over the last couple of days, so I hope to actually see you out in the, out in the field and have you working for me one day. Thanks. Sweet. Things I enjoyed most about being here over the last two days is getting to know everyone that works here, it's not the same every day, so you don't get bored. Seeing all the different cars that come in, because they're all really flashy. Pretty exciting place to be. You can complete your national qualification of automotive refinishing in about two years with the support of the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation and your supervisor at work. Experienced and skilled refinishers are in high demand and can earn a very good income. You can expand your career opportunities with the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation's Advanced Technician ATEC program, or consider business management qualifications. And there is no age restriction. The New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation's free phone number is 0800 88 21 21. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.